Hey guys, Vic here. Today we are going to talk about MoviePass. And for those of you who lived under a rock, MoviePass is a movie theater subscription that was founded in 2011. This service was amazing for me and many other film lovers out there for a short time. But the truth of the matter is, is that this was actually a giant fraud machine. And in a way, I don't care that it was fraud because it was basically like I paid $10 a month to have a debit card that had access to somebody else's bank account that let me go through and swipe it at movie theater time after time. And I got to see so many movies for 10 bucks a month. So let's talk about the fraud behind MoviePass. So what in the f happened to MoviePass? Well, to find that out, we should first look at its history. In the very beginning, the theaters and honestly its users kinda hated the movie pass. Early on, the way to get into the movie for free was to go on your computer, pull up the site, print out the voucher, and then you were able to actually go into the movie. And many people found this route actually really annoying. But by 2012, they actually switched from the voucher system to an app and a preloaded card system. And then in 2016, Mitch Lowe, a former exec of Netflix and Redbox, signed on to become the new CEO. Lowe tried many different pricing structures, but none of them seemed to work very well. And by 2017, MoviePass was sold to an analytics company, Helios and Mathewson. See, the idea was is that they would actually use the analytics in MoviePass to make all their money back. They would sell all this information to advertisers. Helios and Mathewson then decided to drop the price down to $9.95 per month for unlimited movies. And once they did that, all hell broke loose. The subscriber count went way up to 3 million in just a few short months. And guys, speaking of subscribers, the Movie Tour is still a small YouTube channel. We're sitting at just a little over 300 subs. So I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and help me get over a thousand. Let's help out the little guy, yeah? Hey, I have an idea. Let's charge people 10 bucks a month for unlimited movies and then watch them not go at all so we can roll in the dough. <laughs> Heck yeah, what could go wrong with that? <laughs> the idea was simple. On average, people go to the movies about six times a year. With this idea of having a free pass, they may double that. So the idea is that they're gonna go 12 times a year and on average, a movie ticket is nine bucks. So in a way, movie pass would be able to profit $1 for every subscriber on average. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Think of all the money, think of all the stuff we can get at the Dollar Tree now. But the Dollar Tree is only, a, it's a dollar 25 now. Oh dang, inflation is ruining my fun. But boy, did they have a lot of fun. With the subs going way up, the money in the bank also went way up for a very short period of time. It wasn't long until the amount of money plummeted. They were losing money fast because people were going to the movies way more than the company was expecting, that they were losing 20 million bucks a month. The company tried a bunch of different things here to stay afloat, such as lowering prices down to eight or seven bucks. They then felt the need to limit the amount of times you could go to the movies. And then they felt the need to limit what movies you could even see. At one point, they limited really big name films and only let you go see like the small independent features. And at one point, guys, the company did something super crazy. What if we change everyone's passwords so they aren't able to get into the app? <laughs> Diabolical. Well, that doesn't seem like a great idea. And it wasn't. It was not long until people just realized that they could just hit reset password. You know, they changed the password thinking, oh, maybe they won't go to the movies because, oh, they have a password stopping them. Yeah, that was their plan. Yeah, it, it didn't work. And then it wasn't long until users started to experience app outages, app crashes, and even more. I remember being unable to even open the app. And I was so frustrated sitting in the theater parking lot trying to get in. But the worst thing happened July 26, 2018, a day before the summer's biggest movie was due out, Mission Impossible Fallout. There was a service interruption on everybody's app. This was a convenient way to get users not to go to the movie so that they could just blame the app and then that way they don't lose millions of dollars on people going to see Mission Impossible. Yeah, so problems just kept coming and people were getting more and more frustrated with the failures of the company and with the application. Many people tried to cancel and they found it extremely difficult to do so. A lot of those people who thought that they had canceled their service found out later that they hadn't canceled. In fact, MoviePass automatically re-enrolled them with limited notice of time to cancel before they got charged again. And then things only got worse after so many higher ups in the company jumped 
ship. At that point, the New York Attorney General Barbara Underwood decided to begin investigating the company for fraud. She wanted to determine if this company was misleading investors. And then Helios and Matthewson responded with this statement. We believe our public disclosures have been complete, timely, and truthful. We have not misled investors. We look forward to the opportunity to demonstrate that to the New York Attorney General. But wait, there's more. There was a report that came out in August of 2019 that a cybersecurity company called Spidersilk found a huge encrypted database of MoviePass private information that was not password protected. Guys, this database held over a million and a half records of customers' personal credit card numbers and MoviePass card information. In December of 2020, MoviePass executives then agreed to pay eight and a quarter million dollars to investors after the New York federal courts deemed the company fraudulent, claiming that the company used a deceptive and unfair bait and switch scheme. Yeah. At this point, MoviePass had to shut down. We've since gotten word that Mark Wahlberg's production company, Unrealistic Ideas, has started working on a docuseries all about this company. Man, I can't wait to see that. Now, the thing that shocks me the most about MoviePass is it's now back up and running. How is that possible? How can this still be a thing? How can it be up and running again? That's right, guys. You can go to moviepass.com right now, if you dare, and you could sign up. They have a few plans and the prices for those plans, they do nearly double if you're in New York or in Southern California, which is exactly where I am. So I will definitely not be doing that. And yeah, I don't recommend it for you either. And you don't really have to because since the dawn of MoviePass, we have gotten a few other subscription movie theater options, such as AMC, Stubbs, A-List, and Regal Unlimited. Now I have no AMC theaters near me, so I went for Regal Unlimited and it was a great choice. I do recommend it. This subscription does have a few price points that you can select and they're all based on the theaters that are near you. For me, I pay about $22 a month and I get to go to either of the two Regals that are near me. And I gotta say, I think that it's a smarter, better choice to have a subscription from a movie theater than from a third party. Think about it this way. When a movie theater offers you a subscription, it's better because they can make it cheaper since you know they're the ones in charge. They don't need to pay another company. And also guess what? Since they're their own thing, they can offer cool deals on snacks and popcorn and candy and all those concessions. And sometimes, honestly, I'm even offered upgrades to IMAX movies too, or additional tickets for a friend if I wanna bring them along. MoviePass started strong, but crashed hard. It's cheap, unlimited movies sounded awesome, but it turned out to be a big money mess. They tried all sorts of tricks like changing passwords and limiting options, but in the end, it just didn't work. Eventually, they had to shut down, leaving folks frustrated and with their personal data out in the world. Did you have MoviePass? Did you enjoy it? Do you have it now? Did you sign up for it now? Let me know in the comments below which subscription you have. Do you have Regal Unlimited? Do you enjoy it like I do? Let us know and we'll see you next time on the movie tour.